we finally reached my favorite section of this uh, single track. And then he's been doing a lot but We've been on this single track already for an hour. Again, new rider, he's just his confidence to go a bit faster has improved a lot, you know? Uh, second gear, see if I can do it. So these are all hill climbs. This is Sean. This is his first time on our single track called 770. Now camera does not do justice, but 770 is a pretty tight narrow v-shaped single track that can be daunting to any new rider. There is always exposure on the sides and the slick pea gravel makes it a bit more challenging. I remember when I first did 770. I was about 4 or 5 months in of riding on two wheels and 770 was definitely a challenge for me. It's definitely getting tough. Except I was on a KLX 250. Way more mild power. Now Sean is on a DRZ 400, geared pretty high. So in essence, the DRZ 400 is mellowed out a bit more with this gearing. But the catch is, it is a DRZ 400E and not the S model meaning way more power versus the S. Sean has been riding for a few months, so he has very minimal experience, and started off on something with double the power of a basic trail riding dirt bike like the TTR or the KLX. Not to mention, he is also on 770 single track for the first time ever. And actually, this is his first time on single track. So the main question is, is the DRZ400 a good learner's bike? So these turns are pretty hard. <laughs> you gotta kinda let us carry momentum through a little bit. All right, here, if you wanna follow me. There, watch. There you go. So we're about, uh, maybe about, I think an hour or 40 minutes into the single track. Kinda gives you an idea. He's already going a lot faster. Keep in mind, he only has a few rides under him and a big bike. It's much easier to do this on a smaller bike. <laughs> but this is his very first single track and it gives you an idea, you know, this is the RZ for a new rider. It's perfect, you know, this is, you know, a few falls here and there, no, nothing major, but that's how you learn, you know? I don't know if you can see those whoops up ahead. <laughs> So let me tell you a little bit about my story and let you fill in if the DRZ400 is a perfect learner's bike. Everyone knows I started off in the KLX 250, but to make a long story short, three months of riding with the KLX 250, I ended up buying the DRZ400E as my second bike. Now here is the catch. I mostly ridden the KLX 250 on the streets and not really on the trails. I was still pretty timid of the dirt roads during my first month or two of riding. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, single track is a whole different animal than, uh, than double track. Oh, shit. So here comes the DRZ400E. I essentially geared it to 1538 since I was mostly riding on pavement. But as the weeks passed by, I started liking dirt more and more. Dirt was definitely harder for me versus the street, and I was completely new during this time. So here I am with a DRZ400E, a 30 plus horsepower dirt bike with very minimal experience. Of course, I only stuck to the basic dirt roads and easy trails. This stuff is 
really loose. I don't know if it's the new tires that I swab. Now for my opinion, I never had an issue with the DRZ400E geared at 1538. I brought this machine to almost every trail when I first started, and a little blip of the throttle here and there, but it honestly was incredibly forgiving, and nothing like a two-stroke if you were to blip it. So in my opinion, and living proof of me learning on a DRZ400 on the dirt trails, as a new rider, Yes, it is completely fine to start off on a DRZ400E. However, I would suggest gearing it a bit higher to make it a bit more mellow in case you blip it, until you have your clutch hand memorized. Now why do I think new riders should start on a DRZ400? Simple. You will save money in the long run instead of buying a new bike with each progression. The DRZ400E or S is dirt cheap, reliable, and a huge amount of parts available. But the true potential is its internal gearing, torque, and influence of its sprocket. So essentially, you can make it a fire-breathing machine with 1350 gearing, or you can make it a nice mellow cruiser at 1538 gearing when you are learning. My friend Sean is a brand new rider. First time ever on single track. And of course it's raining, just lovely. I mean, it's pretty good that it's raining, but it, this is the easiest single track out of all of them here in, Color, in uh, what's this place called? Rampart Range in Rainbow Falls. This is usually uh, the first place I take people who are learning single track ever, because this is the reality of it. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, unless it's on a flat, flowy type of ground. Ooh, the roots are wet and slippery. <laughs> so the choice is essentially yours. Not to mention, the DRZ400 is incredibly off-road worthy for the price. So this might be all the bike you will ever need. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the DRZ400, and if you guys like to check out more trails that I ride in, just go ahead and hit that bell button, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.